Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 26th, 2021. Very curious to see what comes up <laughs> for today. This is going to be a very split kind of day. I think some people are going to be having an excellent day and other people are going to be really struggling because they don't want to face, they don't want to face their own truth. Okay, so we have chakra clearing. Boy, if this isn't a setup for make sure that you're in a space where you can handle whatever you're witnessing, you're handling whatever comes your way. I mean, this is it right here. Chakra clearing, Archangel Metatron. Metatron is understanding, he's in charge of a lot of things, Akashic records, um, you know, understanding sacred geometry. But that almost makes, and the third eye uh, intuition, uh, indigo children, children. Basically, Gabriel helps with babies, but uh, Metatron is more about children. Uh, but you can call upon Metatron for anything, really. But this is more, to me, about clearing and not getting, I've been saying this for a while now, not getting invested in the surface level story. Not giving it a whole lot of your time and attention. And where can the purity come through? Let that be your goal. All right. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. It is a time for clearing because I'm telling you guys, the way people are responding to what they are witnessing out in the world is only making it worse. And it's one con being traded for another. It's one manipulation being traded for another. And that's what we've been going through, I don't know, for forever, okay? Where it's just going back and forth, overcorrecting, 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 and nothing ever comes into the center. Nothing is ever balanced. We can't move forward from that place, right? So working with Metatron today or anytime that you want, <laughs> you can clear your chakras, ground yourself. He's the brother to Archangel Sandalphon and Sandalphon is also all about balancing the chakras. Really give this some time today. And as you are going through a meditation to clear, to balance, to heal, whatever it is that you're choosing to do, your chakras, pay attention to where you feel a stuck energy. What chakra tends to be like blinding because that's one that's like maybe too open right or does it seem really small and shriveled up where does your attention go that is the chakra that needs some work and some help and of course there are practitioners out there who specifically work with that so you know you can check into that for yourself as well a lot of beautiful practitioners out there who are on this planet to help people understand um, their electrical system, <laughs> basically, and to help you tune it up whenever you need. Or you can work with Archangel Metatron as well. All right. So I want to see why, though. What's the deal? Because there's a lot of buzz around today, certainly. Be ready. There could be some shocking things that come out. Of course, I record these in advance, but yeah, you know, we'll see. If nothing shocking happens in your life, Good job, okay, because you have already been working on everything that you need to work on. I would not be surprised, though, if collectively we see things out in the world going on. Again, not going to shock me, or in the days to come. Not at all. Why? Because we put this fighting energy out there. It's this or that. You're with me or against me. And none of that is working. It never has. It won't go on. If we have divine intervention... If we don't do this for ourselves, if we don't start listening, if we don't start paying attention and working, let me sit with this for a second. They're giving me an interesting. Humans revel in the pain. They love the drama of it. Huh. That's interesting. They love the drama. So we're choosing pain. Some of it's Okay, hold on. Some of it's a defense mechanism, right? I know I've done that where I'm like hanging on to remembering the bad stuff someone did so that I don't just, you know, I forgive you, but stay away from me, <laughs> right? Instead of just going, okay, I learned that lesson. Thank you, soul, for coming and teaching me that. Now I can move forward. Now I'm in the flow. Now I can allow opportunity to come in. Now I'm comfortable with my light so I can sit in it and just be in it, <laughs> right? So this is saying, uh, be ready. Again, I, uh, collectively, we're putting this weird energy out there. So can you contribute to the good? Are you willing to take that piece on? And as I say that, use this video as a test. As I say that, does your mind automatically go to, yeah, but what about me? 
Yeah, but I, my stuff is so serious. Yeah, but no. Yeah, but uh, right. You got to look at that because that is the very thing that is going to really bring you a lot of trouble as time goes on. It's time now to bring, I can't say it enough, bring in the light, bring in the light, bring in the light. How do I do that? You process your stuff. You step back from the story. You don't get in denial. You don't completely cut away from it and pretend like it's not there. Balancing, balancing and not overcorrecting. And when we see people out there shouting and screaming and jumping to conclusions about people or situations and using social media to spread that poison, you see it for what it is and you back away from it. Not in denial. But balancing what you're seeing and understanding that I don't have to invest in that. Because that is not the way that we're going to move towards peace. If we're throwing judgment on one another, if you automatically just hate somebody just because... You don't even know them. You just don't like them. That has got to stop now. This isn't about human against human or corporations against corporations or corporations against humans or whatever. It's not just that. It's about us allowing ourselves to be brainwashed, not allowing ourselves to see the truth, being afraid of our own truth. And now we're at each other's throats. And we're destroying each other. And we're destroying this earth. When I say it's time to stop, I'm telling you, if that divine intervention comes in, it could be, I don't know, it could be explosive. It could be catastrophic. We don't want it to go that direction. Think of like a classroom that's out of control and kids are just running around and they're hanging from the ceiling and <laughs> like just throwing things and whatever. And then the teacher comes in and says, okay, that's enough. And now everyone's going to get punished because we couldn't be kind and cooperative and just, just be, right? We had to act out. So that's the kind of thing that we don't, we don't want to have that happen. I'm not saying that God's going to come in and smite us, okay? <laughs> I don't know about that. But um, the collective energy could absolutely split us. And that splitting could be volcanoes, it could be earthquakes, it could be violent storms, um, it could be humans acting out on other humans. We have more power than we realize, so choose the light. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Mm-hmm.